In this SiteGround website builder tutorial video, I'm going to be going over how to build a website with SiteGround using the SiteGround Site Builder WordPress. I'll be showing you how to create your site with professional website templates using a drag and drop editor, making building your website with SiteGround quick and easy. Not only will I be going over the steps in signing up with SiteGround, I'll be covering how to get the SiteGround website builder WordPress set up, how to activate the free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate, and how to create and build your website using SiteGround. I'll also be providing you with a SiteGround web hosting discount that will get you 80% off SiteGround hosting. Let's get started with the SiteGround website builder tutorial. The first thing you want to do to get started with SiteGround is to click the link in the description below so you can be taken to SiteGround and so you can take advantage of getting 80% off your SiteGround web hosting purchase. A little disclosure, the link is an affiliate link Many are receiving commission from SiteGround at no extra cost to you. Plus you'll get an awesome SiteGround discount. Once you click the link in the description below, you'll be on the SiteGround hosting page. Scroll down to the next section to be at the SiteGround hosting plan section. You'll see the save 80% off. You'll see three different plans. The startup, grow big, and go geek plan. All plans come with free email accounts, free daily backups with the restore option, a free SSL certificate, free CDN, enhanced security, and more. You can get SiteGround hosting for $2.99 a month with the startup plan. The startup plan is a good plan if you're going to have just one website. This plan allows up to 10,000 monthly website visits per month. The Grow Big plan you can get for $4.99 a month, and this plan is a good plan if you're going to have more than one website, as this allows unlimited websites. The Grow Big Plan allows for up to 100,000 monthly website visits. The Grow Big Plan comes with some extra features such as on-demand backup copies, 30% faster PHP, and site staging. The Go Geek Plan you can get web hosting for $7.99 a month. This plan includes unlimited websites and offers up to 400,000 website visitors per month. The Go Geek Plan comes with extra features such as on-demand backup copies, 30% faster PHP, staging plus Git, white label clients, highest tier resources, and priority support. Click the Get Plan button on the plan you want to select. For this tutorial, I'm going to select the Startup Plan. You'll now be on the Choose a Domain page. If you'd like to register a new domain name with SiteGround, you can type it in the search field. If you click on the .com, you can choose the domain extension you'd like to go with. If you already have a domain name, you can select the I already have a domain and type in the domain you own. Once you've chosen a domain name or put in one that you already own, click the proceed button. You now want to enter your account information in. Next, input your information for the client information. Input your payment information in. Under the purchase information section, if you click the icon in the data center section, you can change the data center if you'd like. SiteGround offers data centers currently in USA, Asia, Australia, United Kingdom, Germany, and Europe. Under the period section, if you click this, you can change the term for your SiteGround hosting. You can choose 1 month, 12 months, 24 months, and 36 months. You get the best deal of 80% off with the 12 month term. Next, you'll see extra services. These are optional extra services offered by SiteGround. If you chose to register a domain name with SiteGround, you'll see Domain Privacy. I highly recommend going with Domain Privacy, as this will protect your personal information from the public, it can protect you from getting lots of spam and telemarketers reaching out to you via email and phone to sell you their services. When a domain name is registered, it is required regardless of the company you go with that your personal information be included in the public Whois database. By choosing Domain Privacy Plus Protection, instead of your information showing, it'll show SiteGround's information protecting you. The next extra service is Site Scanner. Site Scanner monitors and scans your website daily and will notify you if your site has been hacked into or malicious code has been added to it so you can get it fixed. You'll now want to select the option that you agree to the SiteGround terms and conditions. The next option is optional. Feel free to select this if you want to receive information about SiteGround service updates, 
new features, special offers, and more. Click the Pay Now button. SiteGround will now email you your receipt along with login details so you can begin creating your site. You successfully purchased SiteGround. I'm here in the SiteGround dashboard. Click the Set Up Site button to continue in setting up your WordPress website. You'll now be on the Add New Website page. You can also get to this page by clicking Websites in the top menu. Click the Create Website button. You can now select a new domain if you want to purchase one. You can select existing domain name if you already have purchased one. And lastly, you can select temporary domain if you want to work with a temporary free domain in which you can change to a domain name of your choice at a later time. I'm going to choose existing domain. You now want to input the domain name that you own and click the continue button. You can now select between start new website and migrate website. I'm going to select start new website. You want to select WordPress, or if you are going to have an online store on your site, you can select WordPress plus WooCommerce. I'm going to select WordPress. You now want to input the WordPress installation details, such as an email address and password for your WordPress login details. Click the Continue button. It'll now ask you if you want to upgrade to Site Scanner. Click the Add button if you want to add it. I'm not going to add it. I'll click the finish button. SiteGround is now creating your website. It doesn't take long to finish the website creation. When it's done, it'll say you're all set. You can access your WordPress admin by clicking login admin. You'll also see go to site tools, which is your hosting control panel. Click site tools. For the future, if you click websites in the top menu, you can then easily get to your WordPress admin or to site tools. Click Site Tools. You now be on the SiteGround Site Tools page. Before we start creating our WordPress website with SiteGround, we want to activate the free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate so our site is secure. Click Security in the left side menu. Click SSL Manager. You can select the domain you want to activate the free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate for. Choose Let's Encrypt under Select SSL. Click the Get button. SiteGround will now begin installing and activating the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. Once it is done, it will say Let's Encrypt is installed for your domain name. Next, click the three dots at the bottom right of the page. Click the Enforce HTTPS toggle. Your SiteGround site is now successfully secure. To go to the WordPress dashboard, you can click WordPress in the left side menu. Click Install and Manage. Scroll down to the Manage Installations. Scroll down to the Actions section and click Login to Admin Panel. You'll now be in the WordPress dashboard. You can also log into the WordPress dashboard of your site by typing in your domain name in the top search address bar with a slash wp-admin. It'll now bring you to the WordPress login page where you can log in to WordPress. Another way to get to the WordPress dashboard is under the website section in the SiteGround dashboard. You can click WordPress Admin. You now be in the WordPress dashboard where you can begin in creating and building your WordPress site. Now we want to pick out a theme to begin creating a site. To pick out a theme for your site, on the far left, you will see tabs. Find the Appearance tab and hover over it. Click Themes as this is where you can pick out a theme for your site. Next, click Add New Theme. You'll now see WordPress themes that you can choose from. There's thousands of free themes to choose from. Now I want to show you how to access free professionally designed WordPress themes and how to edit them easily with a drag and drop editor. Type in Astra in the search field. Click the Install button. Then click the Activate button. Once it is done activating, the theme you want to find the Plugins tab in the side menu. Click Add New. In the search field, type in Starter Templates. You want to click Install on it. Then click Activate. Hover over the Appearance tab in the side menu. 
click on Starter Templates. You now want to click the Build Your Website button. Choose Elementor for the page builder. It'll now showcase a bunch of WordPress themes you can create your site with using drag and drop. You can type in the type of website you want to create to pull up templates based on that. You'll see a bunch of categories you can hover over and select to build your site. If you click a theme, it'll show you what it will look like so you can preview it. Click the X button to go back to the themes page. Now let me walk you through the steps on how to choose your theme and build your site with the drag and drop editor, Elementor Page Builder. Select the theme you want. I'll choose this one. You can upload a logo if you'd like. You can do this at a later time, so if you don't have one now, no worries. Click the skip and continue button. You now want to choose the colors and font for your site. You can update these at a later time or change them whenever you'd like. Click the continue button. You'll now be on the tell us a little about yourself. You don't have to fill this out if you don't want to. Just make sure under advanced options, you have each one selected. Click the submit and build my website button. It'll now begin building your website. Once it is done, you'll be on the congratulations page. Click the view your website button. It'll now take you to your website and what it looks like. Now let's go over how to make edits to the WordPress theme and how to use the drag and drop editor to create your site. To make edits to your site, click the edit with Elementor tab on the top of the page. It'll now bring you to the drag and drop editor where you can create your site quick and easy. To make edits to a part of the page, just click where you want to make edits and start making edits. I can change we all love nature to this is my demo website. If you want to make edits to the background image, right click on the section, click edit selection, click style, hover over the image and click the trash can icon if you want to remove the image. Click over the image and you can upload a photo to place here or click media library to upload images already uploaded in WordPress. I'll click the nine dots at the top to get back to where you can drag stuff into the page. I'll scroll down a bit on the page. You can select what you want over on the left and drag it in wherever you'd like it. If you right click on an area, you can delete it if you don't want it. By right clicking, you can duplicate something if you need to duplicate it. You can drag something over to somewhere else on the page by selecting it and dragging it over to where you want it. Over on the left, you'll see where you can link out the text to a page, change the sizing of the text, change the alignment of the text. If you click style, you can change things like the text color, and other typography, the font you want to use, and more. If you scroll down to the drag widget here section, click the plus icon. You can select the structure of the section of the page you want. I'll select this one. You can then drag in whatever you'd like in the section. If you click the folder icon, then click blocks in the menu, you can scroll through lots of pre-made blocks that you can add to a page of your site and then start replacing with your content. This makes designing your site quick and easy because you can find almost any kind of design you want for a part of the page and start building it easily. I'll select one. Click the insert button to insert it to the page. When you click the insert button on the block you like at first, you'll need to create a free Elementor account. Once it is created, you'll be able to add the blocks in quick and easy. I'll click the insert button. What I selected is now inserted on the page where I can begin editing. I'll scroll back down to the drag widget here section. If you click the starter templates icon, you can click blocks in the menu and then it'll give you lots more page design ideas you can choose from. For these, you can just click one you like. I'll click this one 
and then I'll click the import button to import it to the page to then start adding your own content and editing it how you want it. Now I want to cover the contact us form to show you how this works. I'm just going to drag over the WP forms. You can select a form. If you want to make edits to the form, click edit the selected form. You can click the create a new form if you want to create a new form. I'm going to click edit the selected form. It's now going to bring up the builder for the contact us form. You can hover over an area to delete it or duplicate it. You can click an area and drag it to wherever you'd like it. If you want to add something, you can drag it over from the side. If you click field options, you can click on a part of the form and then make changes from the side. You can select to make this part of the form a required or not required part to fill out. If you click advanced, you can click the part of the form you want to change and you can select between the size of the form field for that area and then change if you want anything to show in the form field where they input their information. You can click preview to preview the form. Click save to save changes. When you are done, click the X button and you'll be taken back to the editor for the page. Let's get to know the drag and drop editor Elementor better. At the bottom left of the page, you'll see the update button. Click this when you want to update the changes you've made. If you click the arrow, you can save it as a draft or save this page as a template to then use for another template of another page you create. To view changes you've made to your site, click the preview changes button and it'll showcase your site. If you click responsive mode, you can view what your site looks like on desktop tablet, or mobile devices. If you click the menu icon in the top left and click site settings, you can change the colors of your site, fonts, and more. I'll click the X button. Click the menu icon. If you choose view page, it'll show you the view of the page and this is the easiest way to get back to the WordPress dashboard. If you wanna make edits to a certain page on your site, you can click it in the menu and then click edit with Elementor. To go to the WordPress dashboard, hover over your site title name and click dashboard. If you hover over the pages tab, click add new to add a new page to your site. If you click all pages, it'll showcase all the pages on your site. If you hover over the media tab and click on library, It'll show you all the images you have uploaded in WordPress. If you click add new at the top, you can then upload or drag in an image into WordPress. If you hover over posts and click add new, you can create a new blog post for your site. If you click all posts, it'll pull up all the posts you have on your site. If you click the comments tab, you will see all the comments you have on your blog post. You can easily reply, mark it as spam, or trash the comment. If you hover over the plugins tab and click add new, you can then search for or browse plugins to add to your site. Any feature or customization you might want on your site, more than likely there's a plugin for that. If you hover over the appearance tab in the left side menu, click on menus. This is where you can edit the menu on your site. You can add new pages to the menu or drag a page to a different order. If you click the tiny arrow, you can change the name of it or completely delete it from the menu. If you want to create a completely new menu, you can click create a new menu. Now let me show you how to make edits to the footer area of your site, along with uploading a logo, favicon, and other customizations. If you hover over the appearance tab in the side menu and click customize, you'll be on the customize page. Click the footer builder. You can then click an area in the footer area, to start making edits to that section over on the left side. You can also click what you'd like to edit in the left side area. Both will take you to the same place to make edits like seen here. If you click the plus icon, you can then add things you want. 
For this, I'll select widget one. Then if you hover over where you see the settings icon and it says general, click this. It'll now populate a welcome to block widgets. Click the got it button. This message won't show from now on. Click the plus icon. If you click the browse all button, you can scroll through all the things you can choose from for the footer area. I'll click heading. You can now put in whatever you'd like. Up at the top, you can make edits. If you click the three dots over to the right, it'll give you options you can select. At the bottom, click remove heading to remove the heading from the footer. If you click the X button next to the footer element, you can then completely delete that out of the footer. If you click the pencil icon here on the left hand side, you can then choose how many columns you want your footer to be. You can then click the plus icon to add sections to that part of the footer. I'm going to click the back arrow twice. If you click site identity, you can then upload a logo and a favicon, which is the site icon for your site. Click select site to then upload your site icon, also known as the favicon for your site. If you click site title and logo settings, you can then change the logo to your own and make other customizations to the logo area for your site. I'm going to click the back button twice. Now I want to go over editing the header area of your site. Click the header builder in the menu. You can then hover over what you want to edit in the header and click the pencil icon. You can then make changes and edit it. Here's another example. From the main header builder page, you can select what you want to edit over on the side as well. To edit the menu, I'll click the pencil icon. Click the configure menu from here button. The primary menu is the menu here at the top in the header area. You can click this and choose between different menus created like shown earlier in the menus part of this tutorial. You can also click edit menu and then you can drag the order of pages. Click the tiny arrow and make changes like the name of the menu or you can completely remove it by clicking remove. Click the add items button. You can now add pages to the menu, post, categories, and more. I'm going to click the back button twice. You now see a bunch of different options you can select from for different parts of the site, such as blog, pages, sidebar, performance to help speed up your site, and more. You now know how to access pre-made professional templates, how to use SiteGround to create your website and make edits to it using a drag and drop editor. That is my SiteGround website builder tutorial going over the SiteGround site builder, WordPress, and how to create and build your website with SiteGround web hosting. Give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment letting us know if the tutorial was helpful or not as the comments help improve our tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more SiteGround web hosting tutorial videos.